As the body count mounts, Yates finds it more difficult to hide his killing spree from his family. Remember when he came home that night and he said he hit a dog and there was blood yeah, all over I the back of the van? Yeah, I remember asking him about it. I was like, what happened there? I accidentally ran into a dog and uh, I had to set it on the back of, you know, there was a fold out bed and I had to set it there and take it to the vet. I mean, you saw the blood. I saw the blood, the stain. It was Excuse on the me. back of the van, in the back seat of the van. I'm sorry, but I'm feeling it kind of woozy. Can I sit down? Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's a horrific memory that you had. I just turned around in the middle, one of the middle chairs that were in the van, and I was like, what's that spot from? And that's what his excuse was, was about the dog getting hurt, and it was really bloody. That's what he told me. And he said, I just couldn't get all the blood out. I tried, and it's still stained, and it's, it's good. And I, and I remember the smell, too. I remember the nasty, there was a smell. Did that stain stay there after that day? It didn't go away. It was just permanently on that. To know I was right there where he had laid a body, it was disturbing. We even seen like a billboard sign. My dad was driving, my mom was in the car, and she said, man, I hope they get that, you know, son of a gun, you know, for doing that. That's just sick, and my dad was right there driving. I just looked at the sign and I shook my head. I'm like, how could someone kill all those women?